being here at this conference and a couple weeks ago being at the Clinton Global Initiative where over a thousand people, the richest people in the world, the most powerful people in the world, were talking about sustainability. You know what, they, the, the organizers were hoping to maybe get 400 of you, over 700. The, the only thing that has, has been getting to me is I wish Dana were here. Dana was the first person to use the word sustainability in the book Limits to Grow. And shortly before she died, she said, it seems to me a powerful message worth repeating and repeating that people want peace, simplicity, beauty, nature, respect, the ability to contribute and create. These things are much cheaper and easier to achieve than war, luxury, ugliness, waste, hate, oppression, manipulation. Someday when everyone understands that nearly all of us truly want the same kind of world, it will take surprisingly little time or effort to have it. So a group of us, <laughs> thanks, a group of us got together to create a new institution in which business can have a conversation about love. And in which, now as I said this morning, it's very, very important to have metrics, to be able to prove the business case, but it's also important to talk about why are we here? What's your calling in life? So we, we ask this of our incoming students. What's your calling? What is it that you can't not do? A job is what somebody else gives you. A career is what you think you want to do. Your calling is what you must do. So what's your calling? Why are you in business? You may have heard this phrase. Don't take a risk. Let somebody else jump out there. We can't afford that. We gotta be like this little guy and strap a helmet on and go for it. And when we do, we will find there is a real first mover advantage. You've heard the phrase, the triple bottom line, people, planet, profit. Well, business manages to profit. Sorry, that's what they are. They're profit-making entities. But in today's world, what is the way to achieve outstanding financial performance? It's what we're calling an integrated bottom line, in which people and planet aren't bolt-on cost centers. They are how you achieve profit, whether it be through reduced risk, the auto companies getting sued by the state of California for their carbon emissions are facing a risk. That's an unbooked liability. The companies that are announcing a commitment to sustainability are getting and keeping the best people. They're driving their innovation. Companies pay billions to get creativity. Just announce a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal, as Jim Collins calls it getting increased labor productivity and increased worker health, or market share, as ST found, the ability to differentiate your brand, managing your supply chain. Walmart has 61,000 suppliers, and they're saying to them now, go green or you're losing shelf space. We're talking about how do you be first to the future. The companies that get this right will be the billionaires of tomorrow. Because think about it, go back to the first industrial revolution. What were the technologies that underpinned prosperity? Textiles and water power, iron, and then steel and trains, and then electricity and chemicals and cars, and then petrochemicals and the space race. Remember the space race is uh, what was going to give us prosperity? The last wave of innovation was the IT revolution, gave us iPods and PowerPoints. What's next? We all gonna be burger flippers? Is that what you're training students to be? I think what's next, the basis of prosperity for those that grasp it, are the ways to meet basic human needs sustainably through green chemistry and biomimicry and energy efficiency and renewable energy. All of the green technologies, all of the sustainable technologies. And two weeks ago I stood on the platform with Clinton and Richard Branson as he announced that he's putting the entire profits of the Virgin Group into non-carbon fuel. Three billion dollars over the next 10 years. And the press came running up and, and said, why is he doing this? And I said, because he's gonna make a boatload of money. This is not philanthropy, this is business. 